it's time to join John and Beth on a tour of Duluth, Georgia. Your first stop at the enchanting city is Pleasant Hill Road, where you'll be pleasantly surprised at all the insane motherfucking traffic. Next, we stop at the Bon Mi Cafe for delicious Bon Mi sandwiches and a hot bowl of pho soup, which is a noodle soup in a oxtail beef broth that can come served with, uh, in our case, it had meatballs, flank, brisket, tripe, and tendon. That's me eating some tendon. Good tripe. All served with a smile from our Vietnamese waiter, Michael. The kitchen staff is Vietnamese, actually. Our next stop is McDaniel Farm Park, where the order of the day is taking pictures of people taking pictures of people. The park is a replica of a 1930s farm. You see many old farmhouses and uh, trees and meadows is a big thing over there. Here's Beth standing in front of a birdhouse in front of an outhouse. My artistic photo of some post and some wire on the edge of a field. How lovely is that? It's hot, so we're happy to get out into the shade. Ah, that's better. You can rent a pavilion and uh, have some folks over for a barbecue. Where are all the horses? I mean, ground up at the McWendy's, I guess. Here's where I turn the camera in black and white mode. Ah, Beth behind a bush. Using the bathroom, I presume. Be careful, don't stay too long, McDaniel Farm Park. It's exposed to lots of gamma radiation. It's like that uh, scene from the Star Trek where they're like in reverse the universe land. The laws of physics are breaking down. Oh, that's our nice picture. You can put that on Facebook or something there. Some steps into a shallow creek. Delightful. Another tree in a meadow. More trees in a meadow. The best part of McDaniel Farm Park? is leaving McDaniel Farm Park. Our next stop is the TRBE Management Company who leases H-Mart. It's a mega Korean giant grocery store anchoring a strip mall of uh, mostly Asian and Korean stores. Awesome seafood department with giant 12 pound crabs that will rip your freaking face off. A nice bowl of tilapia. I can't tell you how good that smells. Some interesting products you might want to try. Imitation lobster balls. Uh, red bean steam buns. I have a thing for red beans. Here's some red bean ice cream dessert cakes. I don't think American kids would uh, fall for that. I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, this is some snack crackers that have little fish in it. So, uh, And it, while everyone's having a gluten-free diet, why don't you enjoy some peanut gluten? I'm going to go with an all-gluten diet. Seaweed? I can think of a thousand things to do with some seaweed. Grilled octopus. That's what's for dinner tonight. Ah, larva in a can. These are little worms, silkworms in a can. And the very exotic bologna. Yes, um, Here's their cute version of the QT hot dog, hot dog island. It's the kimchi island. You know, lotus, cucumber, cabbage, uh, all sorts of kinds of delightful kimchis. And here's some uh, seaweed, like a little cup of seaweed. Love this graphic. Ah, oh, you no touch my fish cake, me no reiki. Awesome graphic, though. Some uh, duck eggs. That, I don't think I want to try that. Koreans love aprons with kittens on them. A nice Korean hat. Very popular with the middle-aged Korean ladies. And ding-dong cold rice. Mmm. Cold ding-dong. My favorite. 